a vibrator. What does that do? <laughs> no, I literally meant like a person. I have come on this journey with me where I've realized I'm not very good at video games. So now I gotta turn the seed into flesh, Jake. I turn the seed into flesh. Look, we know Garfield didn't go to January 6th because he's lazy, but you know he was. <laughs> and it was a Monday. Spirit. Truck, he's truck. Far. Is that enemy truck? Yep. <laughs> that was a delayed. Now leave it like that. That's good. That's good. That's good, Will. I thought you were going to say it, then I learned about Nazi Germany. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think about the moment when you look into Sonic's eyes all the time. I think about Sonic's feet. Okay, let's go. <gasps> wow. Oh! Oh! Yay! He has a kid! I'm on stream. Maggie's watching Forrest go. Apparently she got to. <laughs> if you had asked me to guess, what Maggie was talking about when she came in, Maybe. I would not have guessed I Forrest Gump. Bare. Look, I hate Twilight Princess. I've never played it. I don't want to because I hate that art style. Man, that is the most Ian Gibson sentence I've heard in my entire fucking life. It's, it's a no. I don't think you can say that. I can literally hear it behind me. No, 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 no. Oh, it's Roxas. Show me Primus. Show me some Primus. Primus, baby! <laughs> Look, I want to be a little slutty so that people will want to be friends with me. Yes! <laughs> yes! Woo! Wow! One. We did it! Yay! Hey, the timer, timer started over! Hello, and welcome to Dwarf Boys, our series where we play Dwarf Fortress as dwarfs. Also, we may use AI art in this, so you know. Oh, hello, fellow dwarf. Hello. Hi. I, I, okay. I'm, not, I'm not gonna ask you your name because I don't want to do names in this series. It's going to be too confusing. Also, I think I'm turning a little bit south of the border and I'm not a fan of that. So maybe we <laughs> drop the accents. <laughs> Oh, oh, I boy. would love to do that. His beard is killing me. It's got a little tiny mouth hole, but then... Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Yeah, it's just gonna go down there for a bit. How's it going, Will? It's been a while. It's uh, it's going great, you know. We're here. We're play playing one of the best games ever made. Uh, I feel beautiful. Shh, uh, shh, 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 shh. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Shh, shh. Tell me more about Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> Uh, Dwarf Fortress is a video game that's been around since 2006. It's actually the second game in the series. Uh, and um, you manage dwarves. You don't get to directly interact with them. You just get to kind of manage them and push them around. And they do whatever the fuck they want to. It's to ruin yep. your lives. Yeah. The mantra of Dwarf Fortress is losing is fun. Yeah. So here's how this series is going to go in High Halucha, of course. Love you, boy. Um... We're going to play Dwarf Fortress. We're going to be dwarfs. We're also going to try and improv some of the weird scenes because Dwarf Fortress is known for some crazy things. Like, for example, last night in my personal fortress, I had uh, an animal trainer go berserk and subsequently get attacked by a gang of dwarven children um, who one of them lost a toe in the fight. So we're going to like nice. we're going to like stop. You know, we're going to pause some of these moments and do some role play and just have some improv fun. And at the same time, we also have uh, Dolly, the AI art generator. This is not necessarily an advertisement for AI art, but we think it's fun to take some of these characters and quickly throw them into one of these generators and just make an absolute monster abomination of an image and then act as if that's a picture of the real person. So we're going to have some fun here. Are you ready to play, Will? I am ready to play. Let us play. This is uh, Dwarf Fart Rest. Um, <laughs> the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> okay. Dwarf Fart Rest. We generated the world 
earlier. So we're going to start new game in existing world. The land of Griffons. Tar Tarkajeth. The land of Griffons. You know what? This is a good opportunity. I just want to see. I just want to see what that what it looks thinks like. What Kajeth is? Yeah. So let's go back to... Um, what is this called? Planet called Tar Kajeth, which is the land of griffins and where dwarfs build fortresses. Griffins with two Fs, I think. Oh, was it? Let me check. You know what? You're right. Griffon. All right. This is a great example. We're just going to do stuff live and just see what comes out. Oh my god. Holy crap. That is incredible. That's so beautiful. That's really oh good, right? Oh my goodness. Gonna... That first one's pretty good, too. Wow. Oh, there we go. There's the zoom in. Whoa. Wow. It's two planets there. All right. Which which one? I think it's this one, right? I don't know. That first one's real neat. You know what? I think you're right. I wish it was more centered. Well, they're they're all saved here. So we'll we'll um yeah. we'll we'll let this be. I guess I could click variations on it. Oh, true. We're don't using use up all your coins. I'm I'm willing to pay money. We're using uh, Dolly OpenAI, by the way. Be excuse me, because it's the first one that returned, and also. Um, when I searched in Google and also oh, they're just all off center now. <laughs> St I know. Stupid AI art. Um, and also this, this <laughs> that's what you want, right? This interface is fantastic. Cause see, look, we can go all the way back here and see. Yeah. That generation. Oh God. That's why I'm going to throw Chris from save data under the bus real quick. But yesterday when he was like, there's a really good one, it's all in a discord server. And I was like, no, I don't want, I don't want to do oh. this in a discord server. That sounds oh. terrible. Mid journey is great. Yeah. I, yeah. The images look great. I just don't want to, I don't want to do it in a discord interface. Anyways, let's play, um, let's play some dwarf fortress. Dwarf boys. That's the wrong one. Here we go. Okay. Let's party. <clears throat> okay, we already generated the world. It only took a couple minutes. Um, what are your predictions for our fortress, William Yosefitz Crispers? Uh, my prediction is we will die immediately and nothing will be good. We should put our place, just to make it interesting, in a high savagery place. No. <laughs> wow. You're no fun. I am sure chaos will happen, but I want I want us to like last a while you know i'm gonna put my beard away. oh no I'm not saying we're not gonna last a while hit fortress this is very disturbing for me because on my screen there are two cursors there's the cursor in the game and then above it is the obs output with a cursor as well nice we're gonna skip tutorial okay find embark okay there's find there's a couple things in here that no i want aquifers yeah. No aquifers. No aquifers. I do want a river. Do you want yeah. soil? Yeah, dude. Some? Uh, deep's actually pretty good. Deep? Because then you can do underground or underground stuff. But I'm, I'm going to do soil just as deep and see how that comes. And yeah. then I want... Iron, if you want. Yeah. Good to have. Yes. I think that's probably good. I feel like there was another one I wanted, which was... Uh, scroll all the way down. Oh, Savagery. Calm. All Ooh. the way down. Oh, wood. Uh, no, maybe not. Isn't there a wood one? Or no? Savagery. I mean, what we can just pick a place. Temperature. I think this is what I want, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Okay. I don't think there is a wood. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Searching! Pick it on the map, ba. He sent me to pick it, boy. Oh, I was gonna put this mustache on. Hey, sir. Here, let's um, let's go to this real quick. You ready? Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, what do you think about moving? Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, like the Where? whole the whole village. Oh, oh, well, I mean, I, what, what's wrong with the current village? Hey. 
you know, nothing. But maybe, uh, maybe we just pick everything up and go. Put everything in a cart and go somewhere else. Eh? Well, what, like, why? Well, I was always been thinking, thing. what if we, like, we live on the Earth, right? Like, we live on it? Yeah. Uh-huh. What if we lived in it? You ever think about that? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Lots of things. But what if we just dug a hole just real fucking deep on the ground? I'm talking like 30, I mean, I'm talking like 30, 40 stories under the ground. And we live down that, there. Everything we do is down there. But we're up here already. We, we yeah. have a village. What if we weren't? What? What if we took no, all these shacks, turned them into carts, and we just went in the fucking ground somewhere? Yeah, what if? <laughs> what if? Alright, back to the game. <laughs> now that I think about it, that is weird that dwarves do that. Okay, alright. I think it's because dwarves have night vision. But these are... These little goobers are goblins, aren't they? Yeah, those are bad sons. Gooblers? Oh, yeah, no, this is perfect. No, it's not. God, you're such a baby. Right-click to zoom out. There we go. I want some uh, wood near us. Good. There's not really a river. Ooh, that one's... River's... It's kind of far. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? That's okay. not green. It's the wrong type of green. <gasps> that one's pretty good. Trees, none, but we're right next to trees. So when it, when it draws that boundary, you can't go beyond that boundary with your dwarves, right? Unless you do, like, a mission or something. You're, yeah, you're, you generate a 4x4 four four space to live. But you don't have to pick that space that it is showing you. Oh, I can just pick around it. Gotcha. Yeah. So maybe we go back up here and we pick. Yeah, it's just picking, like, the best spots. When you hit Embark, you, like, get to drag the thing around. Ooh, deep soil, clay, heavily forested, temperate, iron, gold, silver, copper, nicker, nick, nickel, sink. <laughs> Platinum tin lead. That was not the wrong word. I just put an I just put an extra R into that word, but it was not the wrong word. <laughs> oh, I uh, slight change of conversation. I know you've only played this on the uh, the Steam Deck, but how do you play this on the Steam Deck? Because the UI, as far as I can tell, does not actually change with your screen resolution. It's like the same size. Uh, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty decently sized. You can read everything on the Steam Deck. Oh, okay. All right. I want to pick. Yeah. I want to pick that location. So if I click Embark, Ooh. and I'm gonna pick Heat. Oh, there's a river right there, right? So like here. Yeah. Right there. Sure. That's perfect. Enemies normal. Economy normal. <clears throat> uh, play now. It has begun. <clears throat> oh, God. I gotta put my cheat sheet we, You here. gotta read it out. Old man. <laughs> Odamaban. Cloist red cro- Oh. It's saving. It always does this yeah. when it saves. Yeah, and just wait. Now we can read this. A dwarf and outpost. You have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Rechkalob. Rechkalob. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarfs. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you. But it is spring now. Enough time to delve, enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the dingoes get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. A domabon. Cloistered construct. <laughs> Sounds so <laughs> alien. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Strike the earth. I've paused the game. All right. Let's take a look around real quick. Oh no! Where's the river? Ooh, it's very snowy. It's probably, it's probably under. Like, go down one. Oh. 
It's it's probably iced over and has snow on it, which is why you can't see it. Oh, gotcha. Okay, let me go back. This happened to me. I think that's it right in the middle-ish area. See where there's a couple of water blocks? Oh, through Oh, yeah, here. go down one. Yeah, yeah, I'd see, I can see here. Map. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but I think that means that... Because you can't see it yet. I think that means that I probably want to dig to the eastern side. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's 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 start with the dig. I need a three by three. Oh and good man, you just go right into the ground. Yeah, why not? I don't really have mountains around me. Especially in the direction I want to go. Oh no, wait, I don't want to go right in the ground. I want to do a, a ramp down. I want a channel. Not a channel. No, not a channel. Why not? You want a ramp. Channel only cuts into the floor. Doesn't cut into the... Or only cuts into the ceiling. I don't think that's... See, I can't do a ramp. Because, see, a ramp only goes up. See, dig a channel making a ramp on the level below. Oh. That's what I want. What am I thinking of then? I want it to start near the... Let's just start over here. Yeah. So let's let's have them go... Actually, real quick. Let's should, um, uh... assign some goobers. I got an expedition leader. I can assign those guys later, but definitely labor. One of the hot tips I got was only specific people do miners. So I'll let that guy mine. Actually, I got a lot of mining to do, so I'll let him mine too. Woodcutters. Okay, you're fine. Uh, hunters. I don't have a hunter yet. That's fine. Planters. That's everybody does. Everybody Planters. does planting. Actually, I don't want everybody doing planting. Fisher dwarfs. Haulers. I only want selected people to do this. You two. You've got nothing else to do. Um, okay. Wow. Um, I We don't really have a water source zone yet because it froze over, but... Yeah, there were a couple spots that were open. Okay. So now I can do... Now you want to do regular digging. Or unless you want to go down more levels. I want to go I want to go down a lot more levels, but I was thinking about putting the trade depot here and then beyond the trade depot goes down. Yeah, you can do that. Oh. So trade depot is five by five? Five by five. Yeah. Do that, and then I'll do this. Yeah, uh, but I would put the trade depot off to the side so people don't have to walk through it. Okay. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Cool. Okay. And then um, real quick, I'm just going to set up my my pen zone outside yeah smart <clears throat> um i was thinking also we could do a uh generate for our dwarves arriving yes yes i like that okay let me do my dwarf real quick do a i pen. wonder would it help you if i typed them out <laughs> if you if you just tell me what they are i can type them out quick Okay, yeah, that's fine. But I think I think being able to see the generation is key. Oh, a hundred percent. But I wasn't sure if I like typed them out and sent them over Discord. You could just copy paste. What animals do I want here? I want a mule. Ding, I want the ding, horse. Ding, ding, ding. Chick. Oh, I have a reindeer. <gasps> nice. All right, and I have an elephant. Uh, yeah, chick. Well, I mean, we can set up nesting boxes anyways inside. Yeah, yeah. It's basically just none of the pets. Yeah. And then I think I want to do some pets and honest owner. Okay. These are all good. Okay. 
All right, so let's, um, how about, I'm gonna let these guys dig for a little bit. Loam cavern floor. Hey, one sec, I'll be right back. Bye, I'll miss you. Folks, we're here playing some Dwarf Fortress. Dolly and Dwarf Fortress. An epic time here in the Subpixel universe. Um, I've been obsessed with Dwarf Fortress for a long time. I haven't played it that much, uh, despite being obsessed with it. It's a very cool game. Very fun systems. Uh, here at Cloistered Construct. Um, digging everything out for our first... Should be autumn. Or is it summer? Or is it spring? I think it starts spring. Yeah, spring. 16th of granite. Year 100. Neat thing about this game is it's all same timeline so stuff happens everywhere if you want to start a new game you either have to abandon this fortress and start a new fortress that way the timeline you can't play another fortress uh but you can abandon it have the other fortress play a new fortress and then you can go back to it at least in the original i don't know if they've added that yet to the to the main one here but exciting stuff i love me some dolly This um this wig extremely warm. I slightly regret wearing it. I might take it off for a little bit. Oh, I did buy a hat, but I was told it keys out. So, but it's a nice hat, but it keys out. It's not even green. So, I need to buy a red one. Red is the opposite of green. At least that's what they told me. Dwarf boys. Dwarf boys. Dwarf boys. Dwarf boys. Dwarf boys. Okay, I'm almost back. Dwarf boys. Oh. Dwarf boys. Dwarf boys. I'm glad I paused the game before I left. <laughs> Dwarf boys. All right, you want to do a prompt? Yeah, let's do a prompt. Okay, you got one ready? Uh, I was going to say photo of dwarf pilgrims mm -hmm. arriving. I'm going to change it to migrants because that's what the. Oh, game migrants, is. yeah. Mm -hmm. Arriving uh, at Odom, Odomabon. Odomabon. Yeah. Fortress? Well, not fortress because there's not one there yet. Valley, maybe, right? Oh, yeah. Don't one valley in a wagon. In a Perfect. full wagon. In a wagon full of stuff. Generate. There it is. It looks hella cool, really. <laughs> Damn. I wonder if we could start doing, like... <laughs> I like this okay. one. Can we? You want to look at photo of fantasy dwarves? <laughs> I don't even think are these this real dwarves. Okay. They're just. They just look like. <laughs> it look like... looks like the nightly news. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. <laughs> fantasy dwarves. The trash bags are incredible. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to edit it. Or maybe say in medieval times. Photo of fantasy dwarf migrants in medieval time. Yeah. I'm going to add times because there's a chance it, it pulls medieval times. <laughs> That'd be so incredible. There's a chance. Oh, my God. There's a chance it pulls medieval times. Oh, that's oh my so gosh. much better. <laughs> That All right. first one's so good! 
<laughs> oh wait, they have a. Oh my! It looks like they have flames God. on it. Uh, that one that just looks one like a like... model. It's so good. God, that... oh. that's so good. Okay, which one? I, I, I feel like we, we should really good. We should put we should put this on. Um, we should put this on uh, Twitter if you can. I'll throw it to you. Yeah, I'll tweet it. Sorry, let me get that. I'll reply tweet to up. the. Oh. I think it's this one. Okay, there it is. It's there. I'm gonna. While you're taking care of that, I'm gonna dwarf for a bit. I need the freaking river to. Oh. Oh shit. Oh crap. This is open space, right? Yeah, that's open space. Yeah, it's just ice. It needs to thaw. I'm gonna... Do what, little boy? I'm gonna start cutting wood. Might as well. It's dwarf boys with a Z, correct? Yes, that's correct. Patent pending. I did our dwarves arriving at cloistered constructs. Hashtag dwarf fortress. Hashtag dwarf boys. Okay, oh, alright. And then I'll do tune in. So now I'm here. I think I just want to go down a bunch of levels. Or, you know, I just need a staircase, right? I'll just do a staircase. How do you do yeah. your staircases? I do. I do a, usually in a hallway, but I do groups of two and then so just you bring do... as far down as possible. I do like a central main staircase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just. I'm, I'm wondering how you do. So you do two by two. So normally I do a two by one off to the side of a hallway. Um, but I think if we're going to make our fortress grand, I think we just start grand and do a, a four a two by two staircase going down. So as in like this is. Down. And then down here you have a landing and then a down landing no. down. No, no, no. I, you click all four boxes and just go down like 15 and then click. And it'll do all of them? Yeah. Wait, sorry. I'm trying to. Okay, all right. So do a two by two. Can I make it three by three? Because I like, I like yeah, three. three, three. I like three hallways. Yeah, do three. So if I do... Sorry, I think I want I want at least a five hallway here because that'll allow me to put some defensive and possible future traps and then a. <clears throat> you know what? I lied. I want a seven. I like the idea of there is a hallway that everybody funnels through before they get in. OK. And then. OK, wait a minute. OK, can you watch this? So I'm going to do. And then just go down like 15. And that works. Wait, sorry. I want to delete that. That works. Yeah, boy. I was doing. I, I, mean, I made my staircases. I mean, mine a spiral. And I thought that oh, was how no you were supposed to do it. I mean, it worked, yeah, but it sucked. Oh, yeah. Let's go all the way down to like 25, 15 down. Yeah. Boom. I think I want to get rid of that middle one. Well, I don't know. That looks weird. Again, if you want to. It's just so people, because if yeah, yeah, you yeah. have them only one, people I have know. to wait for other people. I know that, but I don't know how to make this look better. It's my point. <clears throat> oh, you don't got to worry about looks. It looks fantastic. Can they access all, like, even the back ones? Yeah. Think of it as like a flat floor that you can go down from at any point. Okay, so it's not really like... Like, see, oh, there's... Yeah, not, there's like not walkways really, between the stairs. Yeah, it's not really nine sets of stairs so, on top of each other. Okay, all right, I went down to 25. What's the... What's the yeah, it's perfect. I guess zero is the floor. I don't know. I think you can go deeper than that, can you? Okay, I've told them to dig. 
while they're digging, let's let's meet our dwarves. Actually, I don't think we can meet our dwarves while they're going. Bunch of assholes. Anyways, they're digging of assholes. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I am terrified of this hole. There is no river right now because of ice. I don't like that. I mean, it'll go away in like a couple days. Then in winter, we're all gonna die. Oh, well, there's we underground have water. Chalk. Cat. Oh, uh, put the trade post so they can start building it. Yeah, that's a good point. <clears throat> Workshops. Trade depot. I'm just going to use closest. Yeah. Chalk. 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 And once we hit rock, just make like like a 20 by 20 room. Oh, that much? Yeah. You just want to, you want, you want boulders and stones. No, I know, I know. Just to be around. But I don't want a giant room like that. Something I need to do better, though, is I was not smoothing my floors, and you can't go back and do that once you place buildings. Sucks. Yeah. So the the thing I like to do is you make a giant room, and then in that room you have all your different stockpiles, and then the floor underneath that is all the workshops. So workshops so go up go to grab materials, the floor. and they come back down. Uh, and you can make side sets to side staircases so they don't all have to go to the middle. But your middle is just the main highway of your fortress. Okay. And then once we get to bedrooms, you want to make all the bedrooms. That, you want yeah. a noble area away from all the other regular I'm bedrooms. About, I'm not worried about nobles yet. But well, yeah. your your um, bookkeeper and manager will need noble rooms. I thought they just need um, studies. Yeah, studies and your uh, you need a tomb for one of them as well. I can do that. Okay, they're still digging. Now we're down to Dolomite. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so while they're digging, actually, I'm going to pause it. I want to rough out what it should be. No, 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 no. You no. can do blueprint mode if you want. Okay, we're going to 26. <laughs> I I think I want I think I want I think I want a two by two around all of this. You can just drag it out. It'll still make the stairs, I think. It it, it overdid it when I did it. Mm. It put the mind symbol over it. Um I think I want a two by two, and then what I've been doing is I've been doing arteries. So I'll usually have like a three by three artery and then um and then i'll do like a big stockpile so they'll be like big stockpile big stockpile big stockpile they'll each be their own room but yeah i think i think i may change it up slightly honestly i think i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna do this whoops Ooh, fancy. Because then I can have like a room like here, and a room like there, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Still paused because I'm just roughing this out. Um, And then I was thinking... <clears throat> I could if do... you want them to dig while you're roughing it out, you can just delete that inner one. They won't be able to get to it. Oh, that sounds like a recipe for disaster for me. Um, okay. And then I'm thinking, I mean, these first ones can just be big rooms. So I could just do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Then they'd have to walk through the stockpile if I put a stockpile in the center. I'm overthinking this, but honestly, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> that's the way it is that's dwarf fortress so you're thinking this level is most of the stockpiles especially like wood yeah and stuff. um 
yeah, but maybe wood, honestly, I think maybe I'll do maybe I'll do this instead. And the wood stockpile down here is small, and you just have them refill from the one above. That way, they're not always constantly carrying wood. I was thinking about doing this, and then I could just have a like a small connection in case anybody needs to go between. Yeah. Them. Or you know what? On the on the north, south, east, west is um, workshop rooms. And then the corners are all of the are bigger stockpile rooms. So so these are these are work rooms, workshops. And so so um, stockpiles around delete it. Delete the ones you those two you made already. Yeah. Okay. And make like one room to the east. However, uh, make it like eleven by eleven, so you can to cover fit. both of them. Yeah. Five. Eleven by eleven. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like that. Yeah, it's lopsided a little bit. Sorry. Let me... Yeah, I mean we can make it twelve. It's whatever. Just to make one, it two, three, four, nice, five, but... six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. Yeah, and then in the corners, so like make oh, make another one of those on the top. Oh, I no no. So these are the workshops. But and I, then so click here let's see there is yeah, that okay they're gonna cross no they're gonna cross that corner so we, we do need to make them one smaller yeah that's what i was thinking what is that it's nine okay and then and then so over then here do you want, yeah so the ones in in the corners make like twice as big and they just expand out gotcha okay so let me do that so let's do what is that one Shit. It's two over on both sides. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It desperately needs to tell you what the size is as you're doing it. And then we do, let's just say five more. So yeah. like that? Yeah, totally. And that's a giant stockpile. Yeah. Okay, I like that. And you can eventually, like at some point, make that like if you know the jewel crafters there and stuff you can just make it mostly jewels and and all sorts of stuff but for now just make them all generic stockpiles um except for seeds so the only thing is that i think the only way this works is if this connection is here so they can come in and dump and then it's and then it's we probably do one more this way so we can do it's a three by is a three by three or four by four workshop uh three by three. Oh, okay so we'll do we'll do a three by three three by three so that way they can walk in immediately walk into the stockpile yeah so it looks like that so this is a stockpile workshop 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 okay so nice. i think we're good i'm gonna have them start going actually no sorry i should probably finish building this out first yeah Four, and then if you don't five, want them to start six. digging the certain sections just delete the connectors yeah, that's you know good. I mean? <clears throat> okay. That's what I usually do. Shit. And then I I haven't messed around with blueprint mode in this yet. I don't know if you can like auto I change either. blueprints to digging. Two, um, two, three, four, five. That. Yeah. That. That. Oh, this looks good already. Yeah. You blew my mind with that staircase thing. <laughs> it's it's funny. I, I can't tell you the the many times I've tried to play Dwarf Fortress before this. I would always play the beginnings over and over again. So I like mm -hmm. picked up all that stuff way more. Uh, you're only four on the yeah. There you go. Five. Okay. Boom. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Okay. All right. I think oh, I'm going to unpause, okay. and then I think we should do a little bit of a sketch. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Just follow that one's lead. messed up in the in the top 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 right top right. Two, three, four. <clears throat> All right. 
Oh, time. Been a long day, hasn't it? Yeah, long day mining. I tell you what, these staircases, they kill me. They're way too complicated. They take way too long. My grandpappy always said three, three by three makes makes nine. Yeah, I like the three by three too, but you you gotta keep going in a circle the whole way down. You know, you just you go down on one side and then you go to the next level and you keep going down a little bit, and then you go down a little bit. It takes forever just to figure out what you're doing, let alone dig it. You gotta do a big spiral staircase. It's confusing. No, you, you just go down one. No, I know, I know how the stairs work, one. Tom. I know how stairs work. They take you down one, but then you gotta turn around a little bit and go to the next corner and no. go down the next one. No, you do the up and down on the same square. It's easy. No, I know how stairs work. <laughs> you're in one square, you walk downstairs, and you're in the same stair, but then you gotta turn around a little bit and you get dizzy. Keep on going in a circle all the way down. What? <laughs> what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? Nancy, that ain't what you do. Don't you know that's how you make stairs? No, you make the stairs, you just go down. Oh, 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 you do it the ramp method. So you go, you step forward, you go down, and then you step forward and you go down. And before you know it, you're 40 paces off from where you want to be just because you had to keep stepping forward. I don't like that, Patty. You... I mean, Tommy. <laughs> Patty, don't be going around in circles. You just go straight the fuck down. You're telling me I can stand in one square and I can just go down <laughs> as far as I want to with a staircase? You can... What the fuck yes. you think I am? You know how long I've been touching rock with me axe? <laughs> More longer than I've been touching rock with me bare ass. What? Right. No, come on, pa. No, come on, Tom. We know you're not supposed to mine stone with your bare ass. Is that why you're always going to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> I've got the butt stones. <laughs> All right, I tell you what, I'll try that technique. I'm going to stand in one square, and I'm going to look down, and I'm going to go down as far as I can. Whoa, boy, the boys at the tavern are going to love that fucking story, Tom. I tell you what, you twist me around nearly as good as a staircase does. This guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay, uh, it's pretty good. Oh, I hate you. I got to smooth these floors, too. Why? It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, but it takes time. It's mid-spring. I still don't have a river. I'm getting real fucking worried over here. Well, I know how to big. I know. I know how to do wells now. So. I I hope everybody drowns, and if they do, I'm gonna blame it on you. <laughs> Why? Just because you're like, oh, it's okay. It's just covered by ice. It'll melt. I've got to blame somebody. Okay. What do you mean? It's, I literally started a fortress in the exact same situation. Blame Tom. Tom's okay. Shit. They're digging. Should I smooth now? No. No, it's don't smooth working. any of it. I'll smooth it Only when smooth we've got like, time. Like hallways. You smooth, yeah, you smooth rooms and like meeting areas because then you can engrave them. You don't yes. want to like, unless you have luxurious amounts of time, but you don't want to waste... People waste time smoothing things that don't need to be smoothed. I got tiger iron already. Frick yeah. Frick yeah, baby boy. You know, honestly... Um... Oops. What are you doing? Let's get another miner in here. <laughs> OR. You mean a dwarf child? <laughs> <laughs> Those freaking dwarf children, they hang out in the tavern. It's weird. Dwarf children suck. They just mope all the time. And you're like, dude, stop. All right, we, we don't have a farm. We don't have any... No, that guy's cutting wood. And you're a leader and you're a stone crafter. So how about all of you just mine for now? Do we want to design out rooms so people can sleep? And make the wood crafter... <laughs> Did you designate anything to get chopped down yet? Yeah. Like a wood pile? Yeah. No water source. They're already drowning. I do need to designate a water zone, but there's just ice. I don't see any water. Where is the river? They're probably all gonna die. It's like here-ish. Yeah, the woodcutter is, is cutting wood. See, he's already got a bunch of wood. Nice. And then, uh, yeah, once these are open, you can throw down a 
I mean, honestly, you can just put a, a wood carpenter anywhere. You just rebuild it later. <clears throat> just to get them started. Yeah, that's a good point. I'll put them around here. -ish. Work chops. Carpenter. How do I want to do these? I'll do a three and then a space three. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. You just gotta see where the entrances are. I'm gonna go ahead, but I need a manager, right? In order to do orders? Yeah. <clears throat> Manarjar. But he's yeah, expedition actually leader. Just... Yeah, but you can also make a manager. Really? Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah. Needs a study. I'll deal with you later. Um, okay. Work orders. I want a bed. I want to go home. Ten beds. If the amount of beds is less than ten. And the amount of logs is greater than ten. And then I want a door. I like... Actually, I'll do this. It's it's wooden door, but I can change the material used is isn't there oh shit, can I do a no material? No, that's just wood. Um I feel like there's a way to say to change this from wooden door to just door. Um no, it'll be wooden door. You, it's stone door. You'd have to do it the stone craft. Okay, let's just do wooden doors now for now then. <clears throat> and then I want chest. Chest. And you want to make barrels too. Barrels. Two boxes. Boxes. Logs. And uh, I like to put a cabinet in the rooms as well. Wood and cabinet. Make, yeah, yeah, you made beds. Yeah, I just gotta do barrels now. Barrels? Barrel. Oh, what a barrel. Hot in here. Empty barrels. Yeah, I, I check these now every time. Because there was one of the suggested that was wrong. I can't remember what it was, but it was like... Setting up an incorrect one. Okay. Yeah. Back at it, boys. <laughs> um okay dwarven migrants working hard at digging out their very first fortress underground okay i'm gonna put this over here because i need to watch to make sure nothing pops okay dwarven migrants working I, hard. I, I think stick with with fantasy keep fantasy and dwarf together gotcha fantasy dwarven migrants in medieval times yeah exactly working hard to dig out their first fortress their first fortress underground underground a first underground fortress underground fortress you did not write fortress but fuck it Let's see what happens. Look at a teddy bear. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, God. That one is... This guy's droopy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's like sloth. <laughs> yeah, hey, don't... you guys. <laughs> um, this one is pretty oh, good. That guy. He's like looking for stuff. <sighs> All of these are I so ho. good. I ho. Oh, that one's really. That one looks like a like a. Oh, what's that labyrinth thing? Oh, but this is like not. That. It's not clear that it's underground. So I'm leaning towards. Yeah. One of the first two, honestly. Oh, first three are first, great. Can you, the first one with the little village up top. Yes. Yeah, this one's great. I think what I may do, honestly, is um. Is. Before we do the next dream. Maybe there's a way we could just show off these images. <laughs> yeah, maybe we just rehash and we just say previously <laughs> we arrived. Yeah. You know, so I'll I'll save these and stuff. 
Oh, well, let's see. Did you first download that photo? Or yes. did you put it in the folder? Oh, do you need me to put it in the folder? Yeah, I'm just tweeting out all the photos we're generating. Is it is it an underground? I think it is. It's an underground. No, there it is. That's that's brook. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a lot of water, though, right? No, it's just like not super deep. But it go down. Oh, is it just on the surface? It's ice wall underneath. It's two levels. Oh, interesting. Well, it doesn't it end has, as a it water. Hasn't fully zone. thawed yet. It could be. I'm gonna set it as a water source. This whole thing here. Are there any water source? Other waters nearby? I don't think so. There's little ponds and stuff, but that's yeah. the main one. I, I it just means I got to dig a well sooner rather than later. <clears throat> okay. Also realized if we. If I can be logged into the dolly, I can just grab the photos too, you know. Uh, it's not too hard for me to just hit download. So it's it's there now. <clears throat> and I'm I'm gonna put the dolly uh thing as the caption for the photo. Yeah. Um exciting news, I got my new PC case today. Ooh. It is tw it is 24 inches tall. It is a full tower. I can fit damn. I can fit 7 three and a half inch platter hard drives in there. Damn. And two optical drives. It's it's insanely big. It's great. I am um, I set up my NAS, so now I'm slowly moving everything off of my computer to the NAS. Um the only thing is I did not set it up as a raid. It is if anything fails, it all fails. But uh, yeah, eh. it's not it's not stuff I'm super precious about. So, yeah, I don't mind it. I did get in one of the optical bays. I bought one of those hot swap things from Amazon, but I got the trailers version. So it's literally just a flap and you just shove a hard drive in there and it connects into the SATA yes. connectors in the back. Oh, that's so good. I'm so glad I did because literally I was like, I really want that. And if I want that, then I have to get a case with an optical drive slot which is actually like severely limited my choice of cases <laughs> yeah um like having that i'm surprised not a lot of cases have it yeah the, and so having that plus hard drive slots a decent number of hard drive slots plus being able to fit my super wide graphics card it reduced me to like five options basically but i'm happy with what i got i got i got the be quiet we've talked about be quiet before um, uh, yeah i have a be quiet so i so it was nice because two weeks ago maggie's yellow pc she was still having issues with it, and I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to get rid of that case because the case was messed up. <laughs> so I just bought like the, like the $80 Be Quiet, and it was fantastic. <laughs> so I ended up, when I was looking at new cases, one of them was like the Be Quiet 900 full tower, and I was like, I know they're fantastic cases, so I should just get that. Yeah, I think we have the same case. The 900? Yeah. Bam, so you got the big one too. I, I have to, I'm checking PC Part Picker. Do you have do you have two optical drive slots? Uh, yes. And there's a door on the front. No, I do not have a door on. The oh, front. then we definitely have a different case. Let me see what I have. I log in. I think the next computer I'm gonna build or buy, I I wanna I might actually buy like a pre-built if it's cheap enough. Honestly, I, I don't, don't think it know. is because I built out a fucking stupid powerful computer. And even if I consider if I paid full price for my graphics card, it was still only three thousand dollars. And I'm getting I'm getting six terabytes of the fastest M2 drives. <laughs> like like I just spent so much money on all of it, and it still was cheaper than like a pre-built that would have been half as powerful. Yeah, but it also like if I get a pre-built with a graphics card discount. Yeah, possibly. My, if I don't have the graphics card, um, no. I sorry, I have the I have the Be Quiet six hundred. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I've got the I've got the tier above that, but also much larger. Hey, look, it's water. What's well, a brook? It's still. <gasps> Yay, babbling brook. Okay, so I set that as the watering space. I'm gonna I'm gonna have people start gathering as well. You know what I don't like about this though? I gotta be honest with you. I don't like the way the ramp looks. Yeah. This is I usually dig I always dig into mountains, like I make sure there's a mountain spot. Yeah. 
I just knew or I was going like, to... I don't really have a good spot here for that. That's all. The other thing you can do is like dig multiple layers down, open to the sky, and then go in. Yeah. And that'll look nicer. All right. So question on stockpiles. If I put a stockpile in here, yeah, should I put it wall to wall and just kind of... That's it, what, well, first of all, do people slow down that much when walking through a stockpile? Uh... No, but they also won't be walking through it that much. And eventually you'll be splitting it up anyways. Like it won't be one big stockpile forever. So I should probably just do like a a big one except for this yeah. this walkway here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make it this first stockpile. I'm going to make everything just so they start unloading the cart. And then I'll do a wooden stone one later. Oh, actually, I'll wait. You'll just to add those. No, you can you can put it there. You can just add them after. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I normally don't do that. And that way, I'm people lazy. start bringing stuff down. Yeah. Okay, so that goes there, and then I'm going to accept it, and it's going to be a custom, and it's going to be all except for. I'll have it be food now, but eventually later I'm going to have a, a food only stockpile. It is not going to be corpses. It's not going to be refuse. It's not going to be stone, and it's not going to be wood. I think it's everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to call Dunk. this all minus number one. Expedition leader. Okay. There we go, boys. I'm going to make... There we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll do wood here. And, and I'll do wood here. So eventually I, I'll basically have at least two carpenters here feeding off of that. Here will be people that use the, the all stuff. And then I'll make one of these stone and either... And have the stone ones right next to it. Yeah, that's nice. uh, that's what I'll do. This is the nice slow part of Dwarf Fortress, but you know, hey, we gotta build it out sometime. Oh yeah. Can't be exciting stuff every 24 seconds. So the other the other thing that was kind of beneficial in going all out on the new computer was I could theoretically have reused all of my hard drives. But since I'm buying all brand new, they're like twice as fast. But also, when my new PC is done and ready to go, I can just turn the old one down and just slowly transfer data over. Yeah, but I was like, like one of the splurge things was those M2 drives where I was like, give me the super fast M2 drives, and I'm gonna have a two terabyte C drive, a two terabyte games drive, and a two terabyte like media, 4K video drive for editing, and that should that should give me like really good speed, etc. Okay, cool. So okay, yeah, so I can click on this. Yeah. Just no hit repaint. I have to repaint the whole thing, right? Or I can just add to nope. it. You just add it. Wow. Okay, cool. First time I've done that. Can you all um, go faster, please? I mean, you can have them focus on areas if you want to just repaint it as, like, higher priority. How do you do that? So click on the mining. And then that little arrow over there. Oh, it's already open. Click on the... See the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yeah. So just click like a three. Oh. And then go highlight it. Oh, but it already made them a. Th oh no no! It's, now it's showing them a four. They're yeah they're base four. So now when you paint, they'll all be threes. So if you do it that way, they'll like do whole rooms. They won't do piecemeal like they've been doing. Gotcha. So now they're gonna prioritize all of this before the the fours. Yeah. Okay. Because that way I can at least get the wood stockpile here, going. Yep. <clears throat> nice. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Oh, I gotta make a refuse pile up top, don't I? Yeah. Oh, look, there's some water down under that you can use. It. Oh, thank God it's a seven. So that'll be real easy to tie into a well. Yeah. So I'll just capture one of those. Um, okay, I paused real quick because we have 
We've got the pen up here. I think maybe I'll just... Where do I make the refuse? Because eventually I'm going to wall stuff in, right? So... Fortress goes this way. Pen here. Maybe I just do refuse here. Oh, but then that's on the way to the water zone. Just here? Yeah, so put it over... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And usually how big you do you make it. your... How big do you make your refuse? I'll make it super big. Like a 5x5? Five 6x6? By five? Six by six? Yeah. 5x5 five five is fine. There. Accept it. And that's just going to be... I, I think I think I needed to do an corpses corpses go to the garbage. No, not automatically unless I toggle them. So should I yeah. do it? Should I do an overlapping stockpile on that garbage that is for all corpses except for humans? No, because um, for food, I want them. Yeah, you don't want them to go there. Let's just leave it like this. If there's a problem, it'll be a problem. My first fortress yeah. In old dwarf fortress, I accidentally put the refuse like in a room with a door on it, like near the entrance, and the miasma just got bigger and bigger until it eventually made the dwarfs start to go crazy and kill each other. Classic. So I take my uh, garbage very seriously now. Oh, always. <laughs> okay, look at these goobers going. It's gorgeous. Got a co-op done. Keep going, boys. You're doing God's work. Uh, we should probably also think about making, at least putting beds somewhere for them to sleep currently. <laughs> and make like a dormitory. Yeah, what do you think? Up a level or down a level? Well, I, I was just going to say throw it in a spot. Do we have any rooms? Well, not really. Well, I could just dig out yeah, a hallway just, and have them. Yeah, dig out a hallway. Just like a temporary uh, secretary. Yeah, I'm going to put this as a four. And so what I'll do is I'll do it two. Dwarf boys. And then I'll do a fiver. I, I was doing three by three bedrooms on my previous fortress, but I I think I should just do a two by two. Bed, yeah, I do two by two. Bed, cabinet, chest. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah, I just do beds. Eventually, I do other stuff. But Okay, so let me do... I'm just going to rough something out here, and then we'll see how it goes. Oh, uh, do... Wait, how do you... What? What? At, where do you put doors? Oh, that's a good point, yeah. That's why I'm roughing. That's why I'm paused. <laughs> yeah, so you do... So you do one, like click yeah. one, and then do two off of it. Yeah. That's what I do. And then for noble rooms, I do. I just in a line. I they do, don't get noble right uh, now. Like I'm not three by sixes. I'm just not going to give them noble right now. <laughs> no, I'm just saying make rooms for the for your expedition leader, manager, and bookkeeper. No, I don't. I just give them normal bedrooms and then I give them a study. Yeah, it's just easier to build them off of each other because they prefer that. But they don't have to have that right now. Is my point. I'm not going to yeah, give them fancy same, stuff I if I don't have to, though. No, it's just the same difference. You're still digging anyway. Okay, let me try something. I want to do... I'm trying to figure out how to stack these proper. No, that wouldn't work either. So... Okay, I think basically I'm trying to judge out my design options here. I could do this. It's not terrible, but I kind of want to do like a... I couldn't go to the center, though. And then this would be... That's basically the same as this. It just takes up more room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to I'm going to do this. I'll just have a full floor that is like because I can do 10, I can do 20 of these on each side so I can have 80 bedrooms in here pretty quickly. 
Not that I need all of them right now, but with this design, I can have 80 bedrooms per floor. Yeah. So let me just do four, five. Okay. <clears throat> Unpaused. We'll let them go for a bit. That's 10. That's good for now, and I can always come back and add more. Yeah. Oh, I wish we could meet our dwarfs while they're digging, but when I go into this menu, it pauses. Let's take uh, a, let's take a quick look. We have Deduk Sobitavaz. Let's just see if I can I name them. Oh, I can rename them. Why would you rename them? That's their <sighs> name. I know, but let's. We should do. We should do. If something significant happens, then maybe we think about renaming them. Because the problem I have is I I just I can barely remember these names. Did you? What is this? What is this? Turquoise, turquoise cluster. Noise. Tur oh. Noise. I'll deal with you later. Cluster. I'm gonna go ahead and make a wood stockpile up here. Accept it. It's gonna be wood. You're gonna make all that wood? Boy. Boy. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of wood. Already got a, a lot, lot of wood. A lot of wood. Right, don't I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I Usually you wanna like minimize how much they're moving stuff. No, I hear you. But I also really like a clean fortress. So that's one of those things where I'm willing to be inefficient. Got a lot of rhubarb. The one thing I haven't really been able to get working properly in my other fortress is farming. I haven't fiddled with it enough to get it properly working. So they have like two plants going instead of like the full plot. And I'm like, I don't really want to micromanage this. So yeah, farming's weird because they don't like when something finishes growing, they go and get it. They don't like leave the whole thing to grow and then collect. Yeah. So it like always looks off. I think I'm going to reprioritize all of this into threes. Shit. I have to repaint it, wouldn't I? Fuck it. I think so, yeah. Not worth it. I'm an Irish dwarf. I'm an Irish dwarf. How's your dwarf fortress? From Ireland. Fortress going. Uh, I barely touched either of them. I spent like eight hours today playing Fallout New Vegas <laughs> instead of doing anything. <laughs> Absolutely. Didn't you finish that game? No, I haven't even done the main quest yet. Oh, my God. I'm 52 hours in. <laughs> that's like that's like me yesterday. Like I had to prep for this and I was like, oh, before I prep, I should probably just like check on a my fortress. And then I ended up just playing for like five hours straight yesterday. My fortress. Yeah. Just kept going. I, know, going. I, like, I, I needed a comfort game after two weeks of not playing anything, really. And yeah. I was like, ah, I'll just play more. It's, New Vegas is so good. There's so much to do. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make some more workshops. I think I want a crafts. Crafts so, is good. So I can trade if needed. I'm going to make a second carpenter here Ooh, interesting um i think the mechanic the, all the stone stuff's gonna be over here so that'll be mechanic stone worker i think i want a jeweler but i think jewelers over here too some point we're gonna have to do a kitchen etc but i want these lazy fucks to finish digging first you know bastard Yeah. <clears throat> Walking on sunshine. Oh, man, you know, I probably should have made this a three by three hallway. Uh, you know, something they said online, but I haven't really noticed yet, is they were like, hey, dwarfs are all going to like try and eat at the same time or wake up at the same time. So you got to be careful of like your bed and your kitchen and stuff. They'll be like high traffic at the same time. I haven't really noticed that, though. I haven't noticed like a rush of people at the same time. Yeah, I don't know if I've 
I, I never know when it's night or day anyways. Oh, really? In Dwarf Fortress. So it's just like... So I'm just thinking something just I could do over here going. is... I could do... I could do a room there. That's that hallway. A room there. That's that hallway. Hallway there, hallway there, and then a hallway here. Well, you still need room for the door, don't you? Oh, damn it, you're right. So it's really, to do a hallway and a door, it's four. So it's really, so I was just thinking I've got unused space over here. Time to save. You had any crashes do, in this do, game yet? Do, do, do. Uh, I had... I think it crashed on the Steam Deck once. That was so, it. I just had it once. I was like going into the Noble menu and it just like pooped. Yeah. I had... A, not to change subject. I had New Vegas uh, crashed on me. And I was uh -huh. like, oh, that's weird. But I also realized it's been in quick resume for like three months. So technically the game has been running for three months. Jeez. And I was like, you know what? It probably needs a restart. <laughs> hey, bro. Okay, so I was thinking I could do I could do this up here. Where north south I can theoretically not do that. I can I can I can fit more north south because I can overlap on the sides. So these will yeah. just be two and this will be three. So I can just, I'll leave this here as future proof that yeah. it is possible. I think I may already have doors. Yeah, and you don't want to make too many rooms and designate them because then you'll have too many people trying to move in. Are you? I heard you're not supposed to designate. You just let them pick. I, no, I mean zone it as a room. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So wait, so what were you saying? So um, if you if you, I think if you zone rooms, it means you people can show up and be like, "Hey, I want to move in." I don't think that's how it works. Versus having rooms to be like a tavern and having. Can you look that up? Because I'm curious. Because in my other fortress, I'm like, give me more dwarfs, you know, especially not not entertainers. Right enough. Yeah, I just like I don't like having large populations before like, I'm ready for it. No, no, I hear you. But in my other fortress, I'm ready for it. So I'm I'm curious to know how to bring them goobers in. You know, it is now summer. Okay, I can go ahead and make a workshop stone worker. Two stone. Yeah, workers. the only rooms I assign are like when I make the expedition leader's room or the bookkeeper's room or the manager's room. So that's the other thing I'm curious about was I I'm sorry, but I still don't believe you that they need a noble's room off the bat or are you just doing that to be nice. Is that a hard I'm just requirement? Doing that to be, I'm just doing that to be efficient. Or to go ahead and make it for them before they want it. Yeah, because the bookkeeper won't necessarily need it, but people in positions of power become more and more like noble. Gotcha. Like the the like your expedition leader will eventually probably become the mayor. Yeah. And so it's better if you already have his dining room, study room, and tomb set up. Yeah. And he can just have those. Gotcha. Uh, okay. You don't have to fill them out at all. But you, if you just dig them off the bat, then you don't sense. have to worry. Okay, time for me to... Shit. Furniture. Bed. And then you also have it if a noble happens to visit. Like, I've had the king of the civilization visit me, like, early uh -huh. on in a fortress, and you're like, oh, shit. Okay, what do we think? I'm thinking bed here chest at the foot of the bed and then a cabinet here yeah so or uh, 
Uh, yeah, that's good. I usually put like a stool. I don't think I'm gonna have room. I, I don't think they need a chest and a cabinet. I really need to look up like what makes them happy, you know. Yeah, it's been a while. I'll look it up. Problem is that Dwarf Fortress Wiki is honestly not that helpful. <laughs> it's got so much information, but it doesn't give you the stuff you want right away. Like, this is how to make oh, a great I mean, bedroom. <laughs> none of it's designed for the Steam version. Which no, but I mean, like... even the stuff that transfers, like even for like the normal version, it's just like a bedroom is usually this. And then it just like has a whole bunch of information, but it's like, show me a good design. <laughs> show me what I need to put in here. I'm going to put cabinets for now, but if you find something else, because I already have cabinets built. Uh, three tiles is enough for a bed, cabinet, chest, everything a dwarf needs. Okay, so I guess not. So I think that's what I read and why, why I was yeah. doing it that way. For some reason, I thought chair. Um, these pieces of furniture do not block movement, so you're good. Cool. And then you can also, like, once you have a military, you can have a dormitory for the people who are currently yeah, in that's the what military. Yeah, that's, that's what I have as well. This is my stuff. Yeah, I need to play in the off hours so I can give you... <laughs> so we can at least be knowledgeable more when we're playing. I got caught up in Vampire Survivors today as well. I need to as well because I started watching a little bit of the Giant Bomb Game of the Year discussion and they started talking about weapons that I don't know if they were DLC or not or if they were just further in the achievements that I hadn't unlocked yet and I was like, fuck, I gotta play some more. Yeah, I, I bought the DLC. I haven't played it yet. I, I mean, I can use arcane cards now, which is nice. Um, but the I've just unlocked level five, stage five, mm -hmm. which is after the tower. Um and I have to do that. And that boy's sleeping. Do you wanna, uh, do we wanna do some, uh... Yeah. Let's talk about... Dwarfs moving into their bedroom? Melville Ekamirth. So let me go over well, to... Well, let's do Melville Tube Hell. It's easier. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Okay. So we're gonna do... This is Fantasy Dwarf. Fantasy Dwarf named. Yeah, yeah. Fantasy Dwarf named Melville Tube Bell. I'm going to put that in quotes. Is it Tube Bell? Oh, it is Tube Bell. I thought it was Tube Hell. <laughs> Fantasy Dwarf named Melville Tube Bell being lazy and sleeping in his new, new. underground bedroom. Yes. That work? Underground stone bedroom? Yeah. Sleeping in his I forgot uh, to smooth floors. wooden bed. Who cares? You don't need to smooth the floors. I I just keep reading that it like makes him happier. Yeah, it makes him happier, but it just like it's not worth the time. Sleeping in a wooden bed in his new underground stone bedroom. Okay, let's generate. Boom. I'm so I excited like I get to see this twice. Oh my goodness. Look, I fully understand the ethical and moral and creative concerns around AI art, but you have to admit it's incredible. That third one is exactly as. This is described. too much like Santa Claus. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's very good. That's the only thing is it. it so it, good. It, it's. Yeah, I think you're right. I think this it's. This one has one. bells. Oh. Okay, so which one? Is it three or four? I think it's three. Okay. Saving it and throwing it. And adding it. Back to the game. Yeah, I you know, I don't mean to brag, but this stream setup is working pretty well. Yeah. I'm uh, proud of you. I stole the idea from you when we did Sunday service where... So for those of you behind the, behind the scenes, I'm not sharing... I'm sharing the screen with Will, but I'm not sharing, like, just the dwarf fortress. 
I'm sharing him my entire monitor screen. And on that screen, we have chat, we have the browser, we have what we look like on stream, and then we have the game up. So he can see everything the same as I can see everything. And we don't have to always switch between them and stuff. It's great too, because these Dolly descriptions are perfect alt text. <laughs> yes, let me switch back so you can. Did you already read it? There's the read. Oh, uh, it's the photos save with it. Oh, they save with the full thing. The full thing. So oh, that's I just crazy. Copy it over. Oh man, look at him. This, this looks so good. So we got to think about it. start specifying art styles just for to be funny. Yes, and maybe lighting. That was one of the tips was what, try what and specify done, your lighting. What if we could do it on pixel art? So some of these bedrooms were not done, I think, because there may have been rocks in the way. They, they, they said some things like can't reach location, but maybe they're trying again. Yeah, you can. Can you designate those rocks to get moved? I mean, I could, but, you'd but, have to make a but see here, spot. they put it down anyways. So that's why Which I don't think it's blocking. Need, but... So I don't I don't know. I don't know what the blocking warnings were. They had some warnings where they're like. You know, can't do construction blocked, but it's not blocked. Okay. I'm going to wait for them to finish building, then I'll designate all of them. Okay, so let's talk real quick. We've got stockpiles going. We actually have mm. room for a fourth stockpile down here, but... None of my stockpiles are full yet. All minus is getting close, so maybe I can create another all minus. But we got stone up here. We got wood up here. Um, got the refuse. Maybe I'll maybe I'll sign a manager and a book a broker and get them offices next. Mm. Yeah, he needs he needs a miners meager study. I realized we should get some uh, music to put in the background too. Adequate negotiator. Okay, what do we want? This is for... This is for the broker. Do we want somebody who can lie or somebody who can appraise and judge intent? Yeah, well, skilled appraiser, he should be good. the bookkeeper as well. Okay, so him both as broker and bookkeeper. Um, What's that? Uh, well... No, well, whoever whoever proficient record keeper, I mean, make him. Oh, okay. That's that that takes up. That's better than. Okay, and so bookkeeper needs a study. Manager needs a study. Expedition leader. If if he has one office, does that count for both, or does he need two separate offices? Do you know? Uh, he can have one office. Let's say yeah, it's one per person. I think I'm going to go down a level. What do you think? to do offices because i think this is bedroom level this is workshop stockpile level or do you think i go yeah yeah just to reiterate like what would you rather have your office in your own home or would you want to have to walk i guess well i guess that's different but. You, wait, so you would put office and bedroom in the same so what i do is you do a door yeah. You have in the first room is the dining room, next room is the study, third room is the bedroom, and then off of that is They have their own fucking dining room? Yeah. Are you crazy? Yeah, but you don't have to fill it out right now, you're just digging it out. How about I just do a room that has I mean I can overlap them, right? So I could just have a decent sized room that has enough furniture for both of them. And then if I want to, I'll just leave room to build rooms off that. Yeah, I don't think you can zone a two room, one room as two different things. Oh, okay, okay. So I can do at least like a three by three main room, and I'll do an office off to one side, and then if I want to in the future, I can add more rooms to it. Yeah, I, I just railroad them because it's easier. Railroad is in like straight line. Yeah. Okay, let me think some. Okay, so if I'm gonna use this floor, 
I'm going I'm going two floors up from the stockpile. We okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Shit. I don't want these to be three. Okay. All right. This. This. Uh, now that those stairs are built, you can just drag over them. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. Um, all right. Each room is a three by three. Yeah, I do three by five, but whatever you want to do. Because I'm just thinking if I do a three by three, then you're thinking like this in each. So like this is one noble apartment and it would be room one, room two, room three. Yeah. You think this is enough? Yeah, should be fine. I mean, it'll probably be meager quarters, but that's fine. Okay. So I can give him like, I don't know, office, bedroom, and then later on I can Actually, I don't I don't yeah, think I need I... 3 right now. Cuz the idea yeah, is delete the connectors. Or you can do that. That's fine. Cuz the idea is if they need more, if they really need a dining room, I'll plop it on here. If they need it to be bigger with more furniture, I can blow out this wall. Yeah. Okay. So just two right expedition leader bookkeeper for now okay just you two okay dope this isn't full yet so you cannot reach sight Maybe you can put a chest where there's rock, but maybe you can't put a bed. So let me just put this dolomite here. And I guess I just trash it. Yeah. So that's all you can do, right? You can you trash can't... it and while they're carrying it, untrash it and you should drop it. It's fine. It's dolomite. Or you can just click on it and it can drop it. And then I can go in here and I can say this dump item. Oh, I can't. I forgot. Inside the workshop or whatever, you can expedite a task. Yeah. Okay. Almost done in here, and then I'll designate these bedrooms. Cool. We're doing God's work here. We're doing God's work. We're doing God's work. It's a God's work. It's a God's work. You want to look up what furniture I should be putting in? I mean, I kind of already know for office and bedroom, but if I need to do some fancy stuff, I could do that early. Yeah, take that rock, boy. Fuck, he put down the chest instead. What a real C word. Cartoonist. I'm going to see how much money I Cartoonist. have Cartoonist. Got 36 credits left. I don't know how long these idiots are going to take, so I'm going to go ahead and paint um, these bedrooms. One, two, three, four, five. Done. One, two. Cool. Boom. It's gone. It's gone Looking here. fantastic. Nice. Okay. Let me uh, do some doors. It's not a door. This is a door. 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 I'm going to okay. co-op. So first up, bedroom, right? So bed back here. So I'll do chest, bed, cabinet. I think that's a good start. Chest. Furniture, cabinet, cabinet, cabinet. Okay, and then in here I need, what? I need what? Cabinet, table, chair. I just do table and chair, and maybe a bookcase if you want. Oh, that's right. It's bookcase, table, chair. I think is what it is. I don't have any bookcases though. Best start making them, man. Ding, 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 ding. 
make... What do you think I should prefer making stuff out of rock or wood? Especially this small stuff. Uh, uh, rock's fine. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Plus they're dwarfs. I think they like rock better. Oh yeah, so I think this is the one that's broken. So it's empty rock bookcases. Amount of rock bookcases. Yeah. So I come in here and I go to material and I say no material. It's if it's it doesn't need to be rock bookcases. You need to check it's any bookcase. That's that's the one where it was by default was I don't want to say wrong, but it was less than optimal. Yeah. Okay, cool. So they're there and then I need a table chair. Oh, I don't have a table chair, do I? I don't have a table chair. You don't have a table chair. Okay. St Din. Is there no oh rock? Rock table. Yeah. Okay. And then I need it's isn't it like a th throne? Rock throne. I just do like a wooden chair. I just like the idea of their dwarfs, so they want everything made out of rock, you know. Yeah, true. Plus, I figure at some point you're going to have a lot more rock than you are wood. Yeah. That's just my assumption. Though. <clears throat> cool. There she be, boys. So I can at least designate this bedroom to a specific person now. Go on, boys. <sighs> Let me just paint it. But including the walls is fine. It doesn't affect it. I know. I just don't like the look of it. You're such a little baby. I'm going to assign a person, right? Boom. Boom. I'm going to call this X Bleeder Bedroom. <laughs> Bedroom. Peer here. Except, you know, I hate to get ahead of myself, but I think I'm getting better at Dwarf Fortress. Bookkeeper. I think you are too. <clears throat> Bookkeeper. Keeper of the books. Cool. Did you know okay. bookkeeper? I think it's the only word with three sets of pairs in a row. It sounds like one of those things that sounds right, but then you like think about it for a little bit and you're like there's other things like one time o -O -K -K -E. one time I was in college and this kid this other kid he said um, he wasn't an asshole but in this statement he was kind of being like like a bit of a show off asshole he was like do you know that there are like no Japanese words that end in consonant sounds and I was like <laughs> it was like Nippon Ichiban <laughs> like immediately I was like Nippon Ichiban um what was the one uh what state what state's last four letters as the first four letters of its capital ska ska alaska <laughs> no i don't know it's vermont and montpelier uh... it was a jeopardy question and i got it because I, I i'm like familiar with vermont and everyone's like how did you know that i was like I remember I did that one time, but it was it was it was Desert Storm, and it was like who was the commander of Desert Storm, and I was like Norman Schwarzkopf. And everybody was like, "How did you know?" That? We were like one year old when that happened. I was like Norman Schwarzkopf. Rommel. It was Rommel. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So what are we? I it may be time for a little kitchen area. What do you think? Oh, a little kitchenette. Yeah. So okay, I'm thinking this is dormitory room. This is noble room, noble floor, dormitory floor, workshop floor. I think this is kitchen floor. Cooking, yeah. kitchen floor. Okay, so I need to go from here down. Or do right? you want, actually, I, I'm not to yeah. say anything, but maybe the kitchen is above the bedrooms because then you can do a meeting hall up there. So and then above when people come the to nobles. Visit, they, don't, yeah, they don't have to go as deep. Okay, let's see if your little tip worked. I'm gonna pause you did it so once they're built i can overlap and it won't screw it too yeah. badly yeah, yeah 
Okay. All right. And even if like you dig out, you can just build a wall. So I like the idea of a giant food stockpile in between the kitchen and the dining room. So it's like kitchen stockpile dining room. So I'm yeah, thinking about like putting, that. I'm thinking about putting kind of like how we did down below, but a little bit smaller. But the idea is I'd have a food stockpile here and I have dining room and I'd have kitchen here. I like it. Okay. All right. I I think I may just do the same layout. What do you think? Um. Yeah. I mean, why? Because then I can have perfection. I, I basically have four kitchen workshops here. Not all kitchen, but like fishery, butcher, etc. Yeah. And then a dining room here, and I can expand the dining room. <gasps> I've got my rickets. Migrants have arrived. <gasps> Who are they? I don't think they're going to tell me, honestly. Oh, <laughs> I yeah, have there. two children, Bimble and, and Locum. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to do fantasy, fantasy, dwarf, children. Or is it like meeting their... Meeting um, meeting their family. Arriving from a long journey. From a long journey and being hugged by family. Or you do fantasy dwarf children arriving at a fortress after a long journey. Arriving at a fortress. At an underground fortress. Arriving. Honestly, I think let's do above ground. I'm not going to say above okay. ground, but let's arriving at a fortress after a long journey. And I'm going to say medieval fortress. Yeah. And I'm going to say two, two fantasy dwarf children arriving at a medieval fortress. Uh, do you want to pick an art style? Comma. Um, in. Oh, what's this? What's the, what's the, like the pentiment style called? Uh, uh, illumination. In, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't think it'll do that. What if I do biblical style? Yeah, you can just do comma after journey, and then you don't that need to do in biblical style drawing. Yeah, let me. Well, yeah, yeah. Let's try it. I mean, worst case, I'm, I'm gonna have to buy tokens at some point anyway. So who cares? We can grab one of them and do variations on it. <clears throat> There's got to be a good like thread somewhere of like great terms. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that fourth one. That oh my god, they're all it's perfect. Really, they're it's all, they're really... all so good. This one's a little that bit one too is so desert. Good. It's like yeah, that one's it's that good, one's, but it's this one is so, <laughs> little Playmobil people. This is the one. This one is perfect. This is the one. This is the way. Oh this is the god. one. It's so good. Oh my god. Okay. We're heading back to the game. We have to think about how we are going to... Oh yeah, it is. It's just... It's a single... I'm sorry. I'm just looking at this. It is... Cole Fence Glaze has a spouse and four children, but only showed up with two children. So Damn. it's like a single mother of two. Well, I mean, we can tell why she's a single mother, too. She disdains self-control. She's thoughtless, poor intuition, disdains hard work. Oh, boy. I sound What's like, her personality? I sound like I'm from Fox News. Lousy intuition. A lot of willpower and good creativity, but she has lousy intuition. She is easily moved to mercy. She doesn't generally think before acting narrow focus she chews her lips intently when she's thinking she begins to talk in a hushed whisper when she's angry i'm sorry we got to go back we have to go back we have to go back okay so fantasy dwarf single mom with lousy intuition chewing her lip chewing her lip and thinking intently uh realistic photograph or photograph realistic photograph or yeah i'll, I'll do both photograph is fine yeah, yeah you yeah. think so okay 
Here we go. <laughs> Please, this is gonna be so good. I'm so excited for this one. What's her name? Cole? Cole Fenceglaze? Miss Fenceglaze? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Just like a Latino woman. <laughs> okay, um, Will, I'm gonna play for a little bit, but I need you to cut her out so that we can have a conversation Those with Miss Fence, please. Fantastic breasts. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I want to find like the poor woman's real picture that that AI has just stolen a majority of this from. I know. All right, I'm gonna play for a bit. Yeah. If you can cut her out, and we can. Have a conversation with our new Miss Miss Fence Clays. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do real quick is I no I'm gonna do the kitchen because we talked about the kitchen, and then it's a twofer. Oh, Photoshop, you're so good. Oops. Photoshop, you fucked up a little bit. <laughs> a twofer. That object selection tool is great until it isn't. Yeah. Forgot one of her breasts. <laughs> you, f you forgot. I didn't. Photoshop forgot. Oh, I had to zoom in on it. It's awful. It's so bad up close. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Nine. Oh, God, she is disgusting. Six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, Bro, I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. I'm gonna make it so her hat isn't cut off. Yeah, that's fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it goes five past. Five, two, three, four, five. Cool. And I think upstairs, I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit of a I'm going to build some walls with Yeah, I'm going to do this. It's going to look weird, but I'm going to do it, which is Wait, did it not? Don't let my Oh, my wall, please. No. Did it not what? I exported this to the folder and it's not there. Dolomite wall. And then I need a fortification. Dolomite. Just building some defenses real quick before I forget about it. Dolomite. And I'm going to oh, build a door. Oh, now it's there. It's weird. It took a while. Ginkgo, persimmon. Oh, I just, oh, I no. only have wood doors, but I guess that's okay. Uh, cut out her arm a little bit, but I'm not redoing it. <laughs> you done? Yeah, it's in there. Okay, keep an eye on the fortress. I'm going to add her into... Okay. Um, I'm going to also tweet out the image of her. Okay. Um, who wants to be Miss? Uh, you can definitely be her. So I'm going to be Miss. Shit. What's her name? I'm going to be Miss Fence Glaze. <laughs> Miss Fence Glaze. 
This is torture for sure. Miss fence plays. Browse. <clears throat> she is a nightmare. Oh, you know what? I realized I didn't go back to the game, but oh well. Ain't nobody watching. Oh, whoops! I did this wrong. Or I applied to the wrong image. Let's see. Oh. So just for the future, can you put cut in front? Just because I had to, I had to look. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's smart. It's good for this one because I found it. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, two seconds. <clears throat> I was just trying to put this tweet up. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this is Miss Fence Glaze joining the fortress for the first time. Oh, wonderful. Hi. Hi. Is this the fortress? Uh, yes. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Miss, Miss Fence Glaze? Yes, it's Miss Fence Glaze. I have four children and my husband died. And I, I'm it was sorry. Cancer. Could you take your finger out of your mouth? Oh, I can't quite understand. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's, um, it's tasty. You know, it tastes good. <laughs> okay, you can put that, you know, you put that right back in. Oh, thank you. My husband, my dead husband, he always liked it. He said it made me look cute. Cute is a word. Yeah, he's dead. So, you uh -huh. know, look Cancer, I heard. S single, dwarf cancer. Single, ready to dwarf mingle. I, you know, I'm married up. It's okay. Already. I got four kids. There's plenty of... There's plenty of fish in the in the river. Well, there's not. It's a brook, but there's plenty of fish in the. And there's plenty of dwarves here, so you're gonna fit right in. How was the journey? How how was it with the two two little kids there? Ah, uh, oh, shit. Ah, uh, I only have two kids. Ah, uh, I don't know where the other two are, but we can talk about that later. Oh, you yeah. You only have. It says here you came with. You only have two kids. Yeah, that's right. It's just two kids. I definitely don't so, have four children. Uh, <laughs> what are you? What are you good at? Or what are you gonna like supply here? Why? why what made you come out here to cloistered constructs? Um, you know, my husband, my dead husband. He said that I've always right. been really good at talking things out mm -hmm. and and yeah. things like that. And having mm -hmm. kids, um, I'm not very good at like work or like thinking. <laughs> I'm more, okay. I'm more better at just being like me, you know, just right. me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. That's. Can I come um, in? Can I live here now? Yeah. Yeah. Come on in. Okay. Welcome. Come on, kids. All two of you. The bylaws. I don't have four kids. Just two. I don't know where the other two are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, My husband's dead. So if he asks anything, I'm not here. Okay. Yeah. I w uh, okay. Just. <laughs> You look like Nien Num. Okay, bye. Return of the Jedi. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. That bitch is crazy. This is a good stream series. Okay, so here's what I did. I made. So it's a, it's two doors. It's a wall, wall, and then there's fortifications, which apparently they can shoot through. So I know it's slowing them down a bit, but honestly. I think it's good for defense. If, if all of a sudden a bunch of goblins showed up outside, I can lock these doors. I can tell the, 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 the army to come up here. Yeah. Just makes me feel better. Just a little bit. Okay. Just makes me feel good on my tummies. <clears throat> okay, so he's digging out the kitchen level. Oh. I wonder if... What did I order them to build? Uh, Sorry. I want to... Tables. I've got tables. I wanted a throne. I've got thrones, and I wanted a bookcase. I've got bookcase. Cool. All right. So I can I can I can outfit these coopers now. Okay. What are we thinking for design here? Where's the table and chair? I think table uh, chair. I usually bookcase. Yeah, that's usually what I do. You so, can put the table and chair in the middle of the room to look nice if you'd like. So. Table, table in the chair, middle. 
chair above bookcase. it. Yeah, bookcase. Yeah, yeah I'd put it I in like the other it. corner, but you mean the other corner? Not the cor the opposite of the one you said. Uh, the bookcase you would put in the other corner. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you meant the. So bookcase here. Yeah, it looks nice. And then bookcase here because they're mirrored. And then it's furniture. Chair here. Chair here. Yep. Cool. Look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Come on, place it, please. Come on. This guy's working hard. Locum. This is a dwarven child. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have to go. Uh, sorry. Medieval sorry. dwarven child lifting heavy furniture. I'm sorry. Fantasy. Oh, oh, <laughs> get rid of it. Get it off the screen. Fantasy. Here, I'll go back to the first one I ever did, which was this one. Fantasy God, dwarf. So ugly. I, so I gave it an image and then it worked off of that, which was pretty cool. Uh, fantasy dwarf child carrying Performing. a oh, heavy yeah. chair table stone chair a heavy stone chair in a dimly lit mine uh or uh, in a carved out crayon study oh my god <laughs> crayon uh, drawing i'm worried Fantastic. about i'm worried about dimly lit mines maybe i'll just change it to mine Yeah, that works. Okay. Let's hit it. Three D. See that's that's the thing is oh my god. <laughs> okay, that last one <laughs> went for know. something. <laughs> I just saw um, I think I gotta get rid of mine. Because it's making him mine. I don't know, but that guy lifting in the first one is so adorable. Yeah, but I, in I think an underground room. Do, do I even need underground? What if I just don't say where and it's just the kid uh, lifting yeah, yeah, a chair? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And yeah, fantasy dwarf child carrying a heavy stone chair and sweating profusely. Ugh. With a frown. Let's just do sweating okay, profusely. That, oh, that second one I really like. Yeah, well, I mean I've got it one. saved. Over or that here. fourth one is <laughs> rough. It knew what they were going for. <laughs> Ooh, look at that! Golden railroads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is this is. I don't want to see that okay. anymore. We can't show so, that one. But this one, it's just a stone makeup in a chair. Oh, but I think the third one I think is my favorite. <laughs> look, like he's taking a dump, and rocks fell on him while he was taking a dump, <laughs> or came out of him. Oh it's my good. god! Oh. So we gotta we gotta think about. I kind of like the idea of at the end, of course. All of this we show off in like a storybook, but I think at the beginning of the next episode, how do we do it? We just do a slideshow real quick where we say like previously, this happened, yeah. this happened. I think that's easiest. Yeah, and not even a slideshow. You can literally pull up the tweet thread and just scroll through. Yeah, there. and then and then at the very end, I think we need to pull all these images, best of and we should write like a children's book out of it or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, let's go for another nine minutes. That'll be a two hour stream. Masterpiece pear wood chest. Okay. So what's going on? Did they finally build? I'm going to, Oh, I need to resume construction and ditch this. Sorry, the construction got suspended. Yeah. I need more bedrooms, though. <clears throat> I need more bedrooms. Please, sir. Please, sir. I needeth them. I my some men. Now I just want to play Dwarf Fortress. This game is fantastic. Two. Three. For... I'm gonna buy a red hat for next time. I wonder you if they have a helmet I can buy. Sorry, I just realized I have more dwarfs than bedrooms. 
So I gotta make digging this a priority. You seen the new Avatar yet? No. Are you gonna go see it in theaters? No. I was talking to Jake about this. The problem that I have nowadays is that my TV is incredible. And the amount of theaters that can get 4K <clears throat> HDR that looks even close to how good my TV is, is like very little. It's like it's like just like the newest IMAX theaters that can do that. So Yeah. Also, like, I, it's very rare I go to the movies anymore, and I am—I have no interest in seeing Avatar two at all. I have an interest, but it's three hours. I save data. Yeah. Um, I don't have an OLED. I have, I have a Quantum LED. It's like this—it's the TCL eight series. It's like Will can attest to this. It's like ninety-five percent of the way to an OLED. Like an OLED is just yeah, marginally good. better. But the problem with the Avatar was like, I do kind of want to go see it for the high frame rate. But I but apparently they're only doing that with the 3D showings and I don't want to watch it in 3D, <laughs> you know? So yeah. it's, like, it's like this nightmare scenario. It's the same thing with Dune where it's like, you have to like Google which format you want to see and then which theaters have it in that format because otherwise you feel like you're not watching the correct format of it. Because like... I'll, I'll, a lot of people are going to see it in high frame rate, but it's a 2K. It's not even a 4K projection. It's a 2K projection. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, what the fuck is this? So I'm losing my mind over how cheap medieval helmets are on Amazon. Do it. Do, yo, They're like all sub 100. Save is talking about great. Puss in Boots, which apparently does have a fantastic rating. But yeah, I heard it's pretty good. I need to watch Paddington and Paddington 2, though, before I watch Puss I have not seen either of those. I watched a little bit of Paddington because I put it on for my niece and nephew one time, and it actually looked really good, but I There's have a yet to guys actually watch it. were super into it. Yeah, there's some cool helmets. Do they, like, dress up and everything? Who? The guys at work. They, like, dress up as Paddington. No, but their, like, Slack pictures are Paddington. Are they, like, Paddington players? Like role players. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Oh god. Grown nerds cosplaying as Paddington Bear. That's probably good enough right there. Photograph, 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 photograph. 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 Thank you. Ugh. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Man, that fourth that actually one's looks fantastic. Good. That bear looks terrifying. <laughs> oh, can we do something? They have no legs. They have no legs, Will. They have no legs. <laughs> can we do something awful to end the stream? Yes. Wait, let me You're let me go back to Dwarf me. Fortress. Um, and save it real quick. So okay, I don't know um, if we should do this. Let me just make sure. Let me let me finish placing the furniture I'm placing. But if you want to think about what you want to do to us, I just need to finish. Oh, placing I already know what I want to do. I just I'm scared. I just want to place this before I forget. That's all. doing this so inefficiently. <clears throat> oh, I have a baby. Look at all these rooms. Never mind. Stray reindeer cow. <laughs> it's still a baby. You can okay. still celebrate. Let me just bed, 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 bed. Chest, 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 chest. Yeah, there's a chest there. Cabinet. Oh, I didn't place a cabinet I wanna, there. We should do like giant... Giant underground fortress with central staircase. <laughs> I wonder if that would work. Okay, let me save and return. Save to this timeline. Okay. What's your terrible idea? Oh, God. So I made the mistake of once searching, asking Dolly to make a creepy photograph. And it's the worst thing I've ever done, and I will never do it again. But I want to do a 
creepy fantasy dwarf photograph. Okay, well let's 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 do the one that happened to me yesterday, which is fantasy dwarf adult fighting three dwarf children with with bloody oh, toes. No. And I wanted oh, what what no. style do we want this? Um do Pixar? um uh uh no mosaic. <laughs> What does mosaic do? Like, like, made out of tiny stones, like mosaic, oh, okay. like on a on a floor or something. Oh, probably not blood. Oh, oh yeah, not blood. Missing toes. <laughs> oh yeah, obviously. Uh, yeah. This is what happened to my personal fortress last night. It, it was so weird because the animal trainer went berserk, and all of a sudden the kids swarmed her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that last one's pretty great. Okay, that's that. Oh, God. It just looks like they're picking up toes. It's like a mosaic. <laughs> that one's cool. Should I, just I do... like that one. The symmetry's neat. I'm going to do creepy. Oh, no, no. It has to happen. It's the end of the stream, and it's your idea. No. Uh, worse. I'm gonna... Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Oh, Michael oh. Jackson. <laughs> okay, this one's bad, but this one is like, uh, yeah, that's probably what it looked like, honestly. Oh no, my feet, sheesh. <laughs> it kind of looks like oh. Avatar. Ugh. Okay. All right. Well, folks, um, I think this oh, may boys. be. This may be the end of the stream. Is this the end of the stream? Oh God, fuck! Uh, uh, Miss False Cleth. It's Vince Glaze. Miss Vince Glaze. Glaze. Oh God. I'm available. Uh, <laughs> have you brushed your tooth today? Maybe not. I don't think. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you did. Could you not? Could you come? Could you speak towards the wall? Okay. Well, where can I Thank find you. you? Oh, it's bouncing back. If I need to, you know, talk to you or something. Yeah, on Twitter, uh, at Hunt270. Uh-huh. You can find me. I'm on Twitter, too, at Think Gibson. Follow no. me. Follow I want to see you no. follow me. Where's your phone? <laughs> uh, it's, it's, I dropped it. It's gone. You should also follow at Subpixel Team. They're on Twitter. They're on Twitch. They're also on Facebook. Instagram. They're also on TikTok and Mixer. And I also have a I have an alternate Twitter. It's a little naughty. And it's on OnlyFans. It's called Miss I forgot my name already. Miss Fence Glaze. It's Miss Fence Glaze for your thighs only. It's my OnlyFans account. Tee. <laughs> when can I see you again? Um, you can see me again on t on Tuesday. Um, <laughs> Tuesday, 9, 8 p.m. Eastern. Sorry, I just want to vomit. Um, okay, that's cute. I'm into yeah. that. You want to go do that now? Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Okay. Uh, bye. Uh, Save something. Bye. Me.